Okay, so we just got these praying mantis exacts from our local store and we're pretty excited about it. Inside there were two exacts, or uthika as they're called, but we took one out and put it outside to hatch out there. And we're gonna hatch one in here and see if it works. I'll be hatching them in this glass vase. So I put some dirt and moss in it and it doesn't need to be too special because they'll just be the egg in there until they hatch. Then I put some twigs for them to climb on when they hatch. This is what it looks like. I attached it to another twig so it looks more natural. Then I put some plastic wrap on the top and a rubber band around that to keep it in. And I also put some air holes in the top. So I had pretty much given up on the mantises because they hadn't hatched in a while and the egg case outside hatched, but we couldn't find any. But when I checked on it this morning, this is what I found. Now that is a lot of mantises. That's all from one Ithika. There's hundreds in there. And I've decided I'm going to keep one and release the rest into the garden. I'll release them into the garden now. Funny, they seem to like the jar. So once again, I'll be using this jar. It seems to work pretty well and it's big enough for one. And now I've added some soil and damped it a bit. But I can't do it too much because there's no drainage layer. I realize my hand can't fit, so I'm gonna have to use something else. And before I add the sticks, I'm going to add some moss. Since I got this moss outside in the summer, it's dried up, so I'm going to use water to moisten it so we can see the actual sides. and rocks are done. Now it's time for these. <sighs> well, it's pretty much finished. This jar didn't come with a lid, so I made one. But now it's time to add our little friend. I think I might add two for now, even though one might eat the other but they're not likely to eat each other at this stage. I should give it a light spray. I'll add a tiny fruit fly in there. Well, the fruit fly got away, but maybe some tiny mealworms?
but I haven't eaten yet, but I've heard that they don't eat for the first couple days.